Uh, 12.2 Vector base, Basics Part 2. We're going to look at a few problems here. P0 is 135, P1 is 324. The vector from P1 to P0 to P1 is 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. You can also check visually if we go from 1 to 3, x changes by 2. Go from 3 down to 2, negative 1. 5 down to 4, negative 1. It makes sense. If you reverse this, we subtract the other way. So just think of this as final minus initial. That's how you do this. Uh, let's suppose u is 1, 0, 1. v is 2, 6, 0. We want to find 2u plus v. Well, let's plug our vectors in here. 2 times 1, 0, 1 plus 2, 6, 0. We have to do scalar multiplication before we can do addition. And so we get 2, 0, 2 plus 2, 6, 0. And 2 and 2 is 4. And 0 and 6 is 6. And 2 and 0 is 2. There's our final answer. Uh, magnitude of u, we're talking about this vector right here. The square root 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 1 squared, which is square root of 2. Now we want a unit vector parallel to u. Unit vector means... length 1. So u, it turns out, is a, a magnitude square root of 2. All we have to do is divide by square root of 2 for this vector, divide by the magnitude. And what do we get? You can scalar multiply 1 over square root of 2, 0, 1 over square root of 2. In effect, what we did is we took this vector and we shrank it down. We divided it by 1.4. Uh, now, this is one answer. We actually could have had plus and minus. So a vector in the opposite direction would have sufficed as well. Uh, so it could have been either one of those. Now, as far as a check, let's find out how long this vector is square root 1 over square root of 2 squared plus 0 squared. And guess what? That's a half plus a half is 1, and we just get 1. So... Okay, question number five, we have a magnitude of 10 and an angle, a standard trig angle of 30 degrees. So we can actually plot this vector here. That's of length 10. That's 30 degrees. It says, let's write it in component form. This is very useful in physics, actually. What we want to do is write two components, an X and a Y component. Well, this is just a right triangle right here. And you can call this A, call this B if you want. And it turns out cosine 30 is A over 10. A is 10 cosine 30. And likewise, B is equal to 10 sine 30. Okay, this B is the same as this B over here. So the component form of u is equal to 10 cosine 30. You can use pointy brackets or you can use the i hat if you want. 10 sine 30j. Okay, yeah, that's how in physics you do this so much so much that it becomes second nature. You resolve this into two directions uh, for a higher purpose. There's all sorts of problems you can solve in Newtonian mechanics using equilibrium, etc., etc., etc. And that's how you do that. 
Uh, we have one more problem to go through. You can watch this video as many times as you want. This covers a lot of the homework questions. Uh, U is equal to 3, 2, V is equal to 5, 4, W is equal to 11, 8. We want to find scalars A and B such that W is equal to AU plus BV. Uh, this is what's called a linear combination of these two vectors. We want to see if we can express W as a linear combination of U and V. It's a pretty big question in linear algebra. Let me clear some space here so we're not so cramped. And I'll work right here in the center. So the first thing to do is set up an equation and plug in. That's a good rule in math. So we have, let's write this out, W is equal to AU plus BV. And a W is equal to 11, 8. And it's equal to A times 3, 2 plus B times V, which is 5, 4. Now you could always fly by the seat of your pants and see if you could figure out what A and B are. Uh, but let's use some math. You can scale or multiply A and B through, and we have 11, 8 equals 3A. 2a plus 5b, 4b. And you can also, we also have vector addition, and so we can combine those two. 11a equals 3a plus 5b, 2a plus 4b. And then now we can set this equal to 11, set this equal to 8. 3a plus 5b equals 11. And then 2a plus 4b equals 8. And then we have two equations, two unknowns, and you can solve it. And it turns out we have a equals 2, b equals 1. I'll leave the actual ninth grade algebra to you, but you can check. Put a 2 in here and a 1 in here, you get 11. Put a 2 and a 1 in here, you get 8. Okay, so we found A and B. Now, of course, you can check. You can plug A and B in. You can put a 2 in here and put a 1 in here. I'll leave that to you. If you multiply 2 out, you get 6, 4, plus 5, 4. 6, 4 plus 5, 4 gives you what? 11, 8, and indeed does check. So, okay, that goes through most of the homework. So, uh, have at it, and by all means, come to a Zoom session if you have any questions.